In past videos, we talked about uh, ChatGPT and uh, how you can utilize it in Framer in order to speed up uh, and make your workflow more efficient. And uh, in this video, I want to show with you a specific uh, prompt uh, and uh, way that you can utilize ChatGPT in order to really make uh, a big difference in uh, your wireframe and uh, structural stage when it comes to the information architecture of a site. So this is actually something that I've been using uh, recently and uh, it helped me so much uh, with uh, so many clients and you can utilize it uh, for both uh, websites and also UI UX projects. So the case study is this one. A client uh, sends you over a PDF document, which uh, in this case, uh, I'm going to utilize the business plan for this app, which um, is from a, a sample company. And uh, basically, you can utilize the same concept for pretty much any type of documentation that the client sends over. And what we want to do is uh, to turn all of this uh, data all of this content uh, into a wireframe so say that the client wants uh, a new landing page uh, for their company and uh, they're just sending you documentation which can be even 20 pages of documentation now you should of course go through it but what you can do is is to simply select uh, all of the content uh, and uh, you can uh, go on ChatGPT and ask, uh, could you create uh, a wireframe structure for a landing page for this uh, company that I'm working for? I need the ideas uh, for the different uh, sections as well as uh, content uh, that I can add uh, based uh, on uh, this uh, documentation and the company overview that the client uh, sent to me. Then double dots uh, and uh, I'm going to simply copy and paste uh, all of uh, this uh, which uh, I had in Notion. Now at this point, uh, you're going to see how magical this uh, feature is because it's going to go through the entire document documentation and it's going to give you a live uh, structure of uh, the landing page uh, and how you can uh, basically optimize each and every section based uh, on uh, the data. And this uh, is so amazing, uh, of course, uh, you're going to have to go through the documentation yourself and uh, through the output of ChatGPT and uh, you're going to customize this. But as you can see, this is literally giving us uh, a blueprint. Uh, and uh, I can tell you if uh, you have, uh, I've had clients where they send me over uh, 10, 20, 30 pages of documentation, which is really in depth, uh, maybe um, written in a way where it's a very, uh, there's a lot of jargon which is specific to their industry. So it's not really like the, the easiest uh, of um, a read, uh, if you wish. Uh, and uh, this uh, feature is going to help you so much uh, because have a look at that, this uh, um, header logo on top left, the navigation menu. This is, this is pretty, uh, I mean, this is stuff that you can come up with uh, yourself, but if you start analyzing a hero section, uh, background image suggestions, uh, headline, subheadline uh, suggestions, and also the call to actions, uh, and um, also going through the features. So it's basically giving uh, you a high level suggestion based on uh, the data. And um, I also like to take it one step further whenever I work on uh, co very complex documentation. So I would even uh, ask uh, uh, maybe to go and uh, uh, explain areas where it's not really as straightforward as uh, you might uh, intend initially. So you can literally like translate the complexity 
and have ChatGPT be your very personal assistant in order to optimize your workflow. And then you can go on into Framer and start building up this section or even simply going on Resume and maybe start working on the site flow and creating the wireframe ideas. And then you can go into Framer uh, from Figma. So it, it really depends on your personal preference. There's all sorts of things that you can do, but this is definitely a feature that I want you to keep top of mind because it's going to give you an edge as I'm not really seeing uh, many people talking about it nor utilizing it.